My name is Bo Etheridge. I'm from Dallas, Texas. I am a connoisseur of arts. Um, I'm a creative director at Agora Entertainment. When this project came up, you know, the, it being this big in scale and in such a demanding timeline, you know, the first person that came to my mind when like, who am I gonna need to help me produce this was Isaac Davies. I'm from Dallas, Texas. I'm an artist and muralist by trade, uh, and I love what I do. I'm lucky to have two good friends uh, as partners in this and collaborators, uh, one of which is my, my brother, Jared Alexander Davies. I'm from Dallas, Texas. I'm an artist, a life artist. Through Agora Entertainment and Bo Etheridge, I was offered the opportunity to collaborate with him and also with my brother Jared. Uh, I'm painting this 40 foot by 40 foot uh, mural. My biggest motivation for this project uh, is based around the fact that it has a, a deeper meaning than most of the work that I do. Most of the work that I do or that I'm accustomed to doing is either for myself or, or by a commission and usually the subject matter um, isn't quite as grand. What we were being asked to create was a commemorative piece for uh, World War II veterans. Well, my role on this mural project was mainly producer in terms of bringing the painting team together. Uh, I actually drafted out the design, I put together the budget, I put together all of the preliminary pre-production aspects and from there I was just pretty much I took on the task of being another painter. A lot of my role encompassed uh, designing the custom easels that we had to use um, you know, planning out the colors. I knew that it was going to be something like that we had never done before. Uh, usually when I paint large, I, I don't have to have a, a easel. I paint on a wall um, in the interior, exterior of somewhere. But this was different uh, logistically. So we had to plan out a, a, a new method to, uh, to get this work done in an efficient way. We ended up building an eight foot high, 12 foot wide custom easel. Uh, three of them, one for each of us. And so they can all be movable within the, you know, the distance of the warehouse. And so as the unrolled canvas is going up the drawing table and over the back of the wall, as we're finishing the mural, we're working our way down the canvas. So in a sense, we're just working, you know, rolling canvas over the wall, and the wall's coming down the warehouse and the canvas is going back. So in a sense, we're just human printers, you know, human inkjet printers. Planning, graphing, gridding, um, discussing color palettes, mixing paints. Um, getting these canvases ordered from a company out of California and getting that canvas here and then actually getting it sewed and hemmed and uh, prepared to actually prime and then actually priming the canvas before all the pre-production going into the work before we actually even laid paint on the canvas was about a week um, and that was pretty fast but then once we actually hit the canvas with paint um, we did non-stop you know 14 to 16 hour days for eight days Every day going in, we knew what we had to accomplish, so it forced us to stay in the zone, and when, and when you work under pressure, you get your, your brightest light. One of the biggest challenges, I feel, it, well, was the accuracy. You have uh, aircraft machinery, precision machinery, um, that, and these guys, these are their babies. This is stuff that they have lived and died for, so you can't fake it. You can't be like, oh, let's just add some, a panel here, or. You know, it's just the, the attention to detail um, because we're reenacting or retelling um, moments of history, all the medals on the Code Talkers, um, you know, just everything is military specs. What kept me going, even in that, you know, 15th hour of the fifth or sixth day, you know, knowing we still have like two, three, four more days to go, um, again, was our duty and our service. This project meant a lot to me. It's something that I can be proud of um, and show to the world. This has kind of a, a broader audience than most of the art that I usually do. Personally, it means a lot because I do have family in the military, um, my grandfather specifically. And my grandfather, Storm Normandy, um, had his leg blown off, you know, uh, by a grenade. But seeing him, um, you know, live the rest of his life with one leg and just, um, you know, that daily visual remembrance of me of like, yeah, people are paying prices, you know, so I can live this artistic life or so I can chase my dreams of just expressing creativity. It, it, it means a lot I think for us to be able to I guess give back to to uh, I guess a generation that there's somewhat of a gap in between. Um, my grandfathers served in the war and so I have some sort of connection to that but we didn't live through those times and, and it's, it's certainly uh, an important piece of history and, and asking 
you know, some Generation Y kids to, to produce a, a creative representation of, of World War II, you know, that, there can be a, a disconnection there, but I think all three of us were touched, you know, by the opportunity and the subject matter enough to do our research and really involve ourselves and, and really channel um, the energy and the, and the subject matter itself uh, while producing this. You know, this is a salute to these gentlemen. This is, um, you know, this is, this, is a, this is a thank you back. You know, all of this um, is a thank you back through all the fatigue and all the, you know, lack of sleep. You know, that's, that's nothing, you know, because it's, it's, it's about something bigger. You know, it's been, uh, it's been one heck of a ride, but it's been, it's been fun and we're really proud of the work. I want to say to the USO, to also American Airlines and the Fort Worth Air Power Foundation, uh, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for allowing me this opportunity to paint this uh, in collaboration with Bo and Jared um, for y'all, for everyone, and thank you. Uh, I'm eternally grateful. I would like to thank Mike Steiner, Jim Palmersham, the entire crew that we've been dealing with throughout um, this process, Brad Keller here at Agora. I hope whoever sees this and has a connection historically or emotionally or spiritually to this piece that you know they're proud of it and that we've done it due diligence and, and, and the proper care and reverence that, that we strived to, to achieve on this project. So I hope whoever sees this, this mural um, I hope that shines through. I feel honored to just in my own way have my own contribution um, towards that. Norman Davies, I salute you my sir. Um, it's my grandfather and uh, to, ev to everyone who's given up anything from one piece of their body to their entire life, um, this, is, this is for y'all. Thank you for the opportunity.